the High Tech Nomad here, and if you haven't already, go to the bathroom, get yourself something to eat, because this is going to be a long video, because there's a lot of stuff I want to cover. I've looked at all the videos that are out there um, concerning the Samsung Galaxy Camera 2. This, um, when I first saw this camera, which was about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, um, I really wanted it, but I couldn't really, I, I just couldn't see myself dishing out 450 bucks at the time, that was the normal retail, and I really wanted to get it, but I was just like, ah, uh, I can see where I could use it, but I, I wasn't really sure. So, um, they've come way down, um, if you can find them. And this one I got at your local bis big box store, whose name I won't mention. <gasps> the best part! <clears throat> Excuse me, the best part! <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I don't know what that was all about. Um, and this is uh, what they call an open box. Um, a lot of the retailers are doing an open box. Now, I'll... What open box means is that it left the store and it came back. And while the box usually looks like it went around the world, uh, the device is usually very, very pristine. And you can see uh, this one says 209 and I can tell you I paid less than that for it. I probably, I, well, I'll, I'll tell you, I paid 165 175 okay? So, and with that much of a savings, I went ahead and, and bought the extra plan, so basically I can drop this in a manhole cover and crack it and dent it, and I can take it back, and they will have to give me a new one. So I'm like, okay, it's a win-win-win. So, but we'll leave that for later. Okay, so open it up. So here's the camera itself, and hopefully you can see this thing is in pristine condition. The only thing I saw was this little nick and to be honest with you I might have done that um, during the course of getting this set up okay but other than that I mean there was no fingerprints on it it was all clean there's no scuffs there's no thing so do not be afraid of an open box and remember you live in the United States which means you got a problem well if you do if you're watching this video in the United States remember you can bring it back so you can order an open box get it shipped to you you don't like it just bring it back to the store they'll happily give you your money back um, so don't don't be afraid. Don't let the word open box uh, scare you. Um, so in this particular case, I got the manuals, which probably nobody has read. Nobody they can see the band's never even been taken off of there. And I got a cable, and I know this is not the cable that came with it. And I didn't get a power pack. But you know what? If I'm saving, you know, two hundred and sixty, seventy dollars, you know, I, I can. It's a micro USB, so I could. I don't care that it didn't come with the. Somebody probably just forgot to return it, and they didn't know to put it in there, so that's fine. So that's how. Um, so that's how it came. Let's talk about why we're even doing this now. Am I, uh, I, I sort of alluded to this before. So I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Um, does take excellent pictures, but there's a couple of things that come out. One is I can't always get it into camera mode as fast as I would like. So that versus just pushing the button and it goes into camera mode and the lens comes out and I'm ready to go in two seconds. Did I push the button? Yeah. No, I didn't. Sorry. So, uh, oh, that's right, because it's not even on yet. You'll see in a second. So we'll actually, we'll start that up. So, that, and I'll, I'm going to put it like this because I think it's going to go right into camera mode. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, is that while it does have a zoom, obviously the zoom is a digital zoom, not an optical zoom, which means it tries to figure out how to make things bigger, as opposed to actually having lenses that will actually, uh, you know, and do all that. So I get a much better. Thing is, is that the flash is going to be a lot better um, with this than the flash that's on my phone, and I also can tilt the flash back so I can actually bounce the light off the ceiling. So there's a bunch of different reasons why. Uh, I would like to have um, a, a camera. So basically, when we turn this over, we have a, 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 a tablet, whatever the dimensions, I'll post the dimensions on the bottom. We basically have a tablet that just has a really good camera in it, is essentially what it is. So when we turn it that way, that's what we have, is it does have GPS. So it actually will GPS tag your pictures, so you don't have to worry about uh, where your pictures were taken. It will actually tell you that. It actually works as long as it's got Wi-Fi on it. It will not only tell you that, but it will tag your picture with uh, what the weather was that day, which is not a big deal, but it's kind of cute. And you don't have to look at it if you don't want to, but it, it, it puts that all in there. Because it is also voice activated. A couple of people covered that. So I can do things like, say, cheese. And as you can see, it goes ahead and it takes a picture for me. So we have photo sizes uh, all the way up to um, 16 megapixels at a 4x3. 
but we have you know really wide so we have a, um, a 16 by 9 but it's it's only 12 megapixels uh, and then the sort of a programmable in between which is a 3 by 2 so not the 16 by 9 and not a 4 by 3 uh, and you can do all kinds so I'm probably going to put it I probably want to do it on the for me, I probably want to have nice wide pictures. Okay, uh, the flash obviously you could do on off, on off, and auto. Uh, detection display, uh, we'll cover that in a little bit. Timer, you know what that is. Uh, one touch shot, that means I can touch the piece and have it figure out I want to take a picture uh, and instead of going ahead and clicking on the top, very similar to your your cell phone. Um, let's go check out video. So video, we have uh, seven uh, one twenty by seven um, one. 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second, which is normally what I shoot in simply because a lot of my editing programs will only take 30 frames per second max, and 720 is fine, it looks good, and especially for what I'm doing, we're not, you know, shooting fields of dreams or something, so it's not a real big deal. Uh, however, I can go all the way up to uh, 1920 by 1080, so I can do 1080 at 30 frames, or I could do the 1280 by 720 at 60 frames, and I tend to do 60 frames per second because my Samsung TV will display 60 frames per second, so the videos look really, uh, they're very um, fluid, so I usually go with that. So then we have uh, share shot, buddy shot, chat shot. So these are, because again, it's two years old, so it has like chat on, uh, photo share. The, the share shot will let you pick and shoot and have it automatically send to a phone and so on and so forth. The buddy photo share is if you tag your, your friends and they're on there, it'll actually, uh, as you take their picture, it will send it to them. And that's actually, again, pretty decent with this camera because you've got more of a chance that you're at a party, you can turn on the buddy share and shoot a bunch of pictures and you don't have to, your friends don't have to say, oh, don't forget to send me those pictures. Okay, so we have a smart mode, as you can see, the, the GPS, the date and time the voice control, the guidelines, which I usually use, the description, which talks about where it's, um, you know, what the weather was like and all that good stuff, and then the storage, and I do have, I have a 30, I believe it takes up to 64 meg cards, I've got a 32 meg card in there now. Um, we have our modes, so we have an, an auto mode, which is just quick and easy, you just click on that and you're all set. We have a bunch of smart modes, which are basically pre-programmed. It'll set all of your features for whatever it happens to be. So you can do macro, snow, dawn. So they're, they're all kind of cute. Uh, continuous shot, things of that nature. So you want to go through uh, as many of those. And then you can save your favorite modes, and you can edit them and move them around and put them in however you want to do it. So we have our, our mode. Then we have the expert mode. Now at this point, again, it's trying to make it as if it was a real camera. So you have your f-stop and all that good stuff. What's uh, very interesting about this is that it's actually making these changes in real time. So if I wasn't sure how, uh, w what does exposure do? And will, does negative two, does that help? Does that make it less? So you can see that I can actually play with that in real time. So you're much more likely to use these because after a while you'll start to figure out and say, oh, you know what, I, I, I do want to turn on the auto white balance and I do want to change it or I do want to set it for whatever the heck it is. So you'll, you'll be more likely to use these um, when you're getting that immediate feedback. We have the camera to put it in the camera mode. As you can see, it went ahead and took a picture. Okay, And then we have our... Um, stop. Then we have our video mode, so if we go ahead and click on that, it basically takes us into video mode, gives us an approximation of, of how much time we have. Um, you can see the, the space going down here, okay, and we can stop it. So again, so far we're looking at a, a camera, the point and shoot camera. It's not much different from the, the other camera. So again, why am I so excited about this? Well, now when I hit this, it pulls in the lens, and like I said, now we basically have a tablet. You basically have a standard Android tablet that you can do all the same things that you would normally do on your Android tablet. So Instagram, as soon as I click on Instagram, you're going to notice it goes back into camera mode, in a sense. Okay, so I hit Instagram, and I go like I'm going to add an Instagram, and it pops out my, so now it's using this really, really good lens. So I can now, I'm now using that to take my picture. And you can see, it actually, as soon as I take my picture, it realizes, okay, he's done. And 
leaves me the picture, but it uh, retracts the the um, retracts the lens. So one of the nice ones that I like to use is Camera MX because Camera MX has a bunch of effects that I now can see in real time as opposed to just my cell phone. And this is one of my favorite uh, programs, by the way. This is Handy Photo. It's asking me if I want to do that. I'll say save. I'll give you a quick example of how <clears throat> Handy Photo works. I click on my, in my hand and I want to go to uh, Retouch and you basically highlight whatever it is that you don't want and it does an insanely good job. So you highlight whatever it is and I'm, you can be really sloppy and then you touch it and it will figure out um, and it does a really good job. I mean things that you'd say how does it know what to keep and what to throw away I mean, look at that. That's it's gone. Uh, and this is called uh, One Touch Camera, and a lot of times I, I might want to take a video. And so obviously we know what I have to do to do a video. So I would have to come back here. I'd have to come back here. And again, I make it sound like it takes forever, and then go into video that is still um, much quicker than my phone would be half the time. But this app goes ahead and puts it right into camcorder mode and starts recording. So I'm already recording. So it puts it right in, it stays there. I would hope that they had a, per a version that I could purchase so I could take off these ads down the bottom because I would do that in a second. Um, so if you're watching, come on guys, you're probably missing out on a ton of money. You're probably making some money off of the ads. But uh, ask people for three or four bucks, you'd be surprised people do that. So again, when I, uh, I want to take a quick video, I can just click on this, bum bum bum. I'm already, and I don't, it's gone, it's started. I'm all set. I'm right in there. So that does mean that if I decide to go into Google Play, all right, so I can play the music. Now, what a lot of people aren't telling me is, so what happens when I want to take a picture? Well, let's find out. So I can turn it off, turn the screen off, and I can still hear my music. Let's turn it on, and let's go like we're going to take a picture. So, music's still on. I'll take my picture. Okay. So, it pauses the music while it takes the picture and then turns your music back on. Now, again, for those of you who imagine that you're like this high priced photographer that likes to have photo shoots with music, um, it's not the best because it pauses it, but at least it's something. So, again, I could just decide take a picture. And it goes back to whatever. Or maybe I'm listening to the news. Really great editor for editing videos. And now what I can do is I can shoot a video with the camera, go into KindMaster, make changes to it, and put it up right away. And all without having to go back and forth. Again, we, we talked about that, that that was one of the things I was really having an issue with. So when I was shooting video on the other camera, I would still have to get it off of there, get it onto my phone, and then get, get to editing it. And I don't have that issue anymore with this because I can, I can edit right onto the, the same device. Again, like I said, at 450, I got to think about it. At 200 or 150 or 175 with uh, extra insurance, you can see, you know, come on, that's easy, easy stuff. I see people selling my old uh, one for, for 125 bucks, which I will be doing shortly. That's why I love Craigslist. So I'm going to sell my older one for like 75 or 100 bucks. So that means for uh, uh, 75 bucks, I've moved up to uh, light years. I definitely would get another battery. Um, the, the slot in the bottom gives you access to a, a micro. Uh, HDMI so I can actually plug this into a TV so again when I go um, when I go on vacation I can because it does have an SD card I might have two or three movies on the SD card and when I get to the hotel I just want to watch a movie or something like that I can just plug it right in here or I could load Netflix right on here okay so again this is if I take this on my phone I've, I've got a, an extra piece Again, those are fairly cheap. You can actually go with actual Samsung ones, and they're twenty or thirty dollars. Or you can get a knockoff, and they're like twelve bucks. Um, usually, if I can get the Sam, the actual Samsung one, and even then, you have to be careful because some of the Samsung ones they're um, they're pirated ones, so they may say Samsung, but they may have nothing to do with Samsung. So it all depends upon whether I think I'm dealing with a reputable 
person or not, whether I buy the the legitimate one or whether I just go ahead and just go with the fake. Um, we have our micro SD slot there, and we have I'm sorry, um, yeah, micro SD slot there. We have our um, micro SB slot. We have a headphone jack, and then we have the NFC. And I'll show you the NFC, but I just want to go over one other um, piece, which again I didn't see a whole bunch of people doing, which is um, they always say, "Well, it's not a phone." Well, no, it's not a phone, but if it has Wi-Fi, and a lot of these places are letting you do Wi-Fi uh, phone calls over Wi-Fi, my thought was, "Why can't I load a piece of software on there and do Wi-Fi?" Um, do Wi-Fi phone calls. So we're going to load up Skype, which I've already done. I'm going to go ahead and start up Skype. And I've already tried this, so I know it works. Now, the interesting thing about this is that the mic is here and the speaker is down there. So you could kind of sort of hold it to your head like a phone, but it doesn't work as well. Your best bet is to leave it uh, in the speaker uh, mode, uh, speaker phone mode. Now, the other thing is, is that you can do a video call. And if I do do it, the lens will... Uh, come out and it would it will use this lens obviously as the camera now the only bad part is is that obviously then we would see the picture on the other side so it's okay if you were trying to describe something or show something maybe you were someplace and you wanted to show somebody something you would be able to see them here they would be able to see whatever you have it pointed at I haven't tried periscope I have a feeling I'm gonna have an issue side loading periscope on here but certainly Facebook's live uh, video stream feature which is not out yet but um, it's kind of like a messenger thing, so that should be fine. I got messenger on here, so I know I'm I'm all right with that. So you could actually use it as a. It's going to have a much better picture. It's going to have a your 21x zoom, so it's going to be a much better picture than if you were to use again your phone. Plus, you can mount it on a tripod. I do have a tripod stand for my phone, but again, this would be a lot better than uh, using that. Also a reminder, you can load things like Google's Cloud Print on here. And what that means is, is I actually can take a picture and then send it right to the printer. Again, as long as it's all, no, actually it doesn't even need to be on the same network because Google Cloud Print will print to any printer anywhere in the world. Okay, so what's gonna happen is you wanna load the Smart Cam program and it will try and connect to the last camera that it was uh, talking to. If not, you can just go like that, and what it will do, there's an NFC chip in there. And it will try and figure out, and it says, okay, I'm going to try and go here. And for the most part, it will figure it out after a few seconds. There you go, you can see it's found it. And there we go. So now what will happen is, is this will act, my phone will act as a remote viewfinder. I don't know, so you can sound so. So the phone will act as a remote viewfinder. I can even use the zoom. So this works out good if you had it on a tripod. And I could even, the flash has to be open obviously, but I can just actually say, okay, I want to definitely use the fill. And I can actually take my picture right from here. Okay. Takes a few seconds and it will actually uh, you can decide how you want the picture to be. Now currently I have the picture being saved just to the camera, but I can say camera and the camera phone. And we'll take another little picture. I can do a zoom in. Again, take the picture. And now not only will it save it to the camera, but it will bring it into the phone automatically. And so now I can actually look at it on the phone. So to sum up, I would say thumbs up. If you get a chance to buy one of these, either an open box or a new one, it's well worth the price. At $200, uh, even $250, it's well worth it to add it to your collection. As I said, uh, hopefully through this video, you've seen why you want to have a regular camera camera uh, to use for things rather than just always using your cell phone. Okay, be sure to like the video. I'm going to get one of those uh, sliders soon. So when I have products, I can go like this. That's what everybody else does, so I forgot to get one of those. In any event, uh, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. This is the High Tech Nomad, signing off.